Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about two concepts. The first one is angle at center is twice angle at circumference. And the second one is the relation of in center with the several angles in a triangle relation of in center with the angles in the triangle and we will use these two concepts to solve a problem from PRMO 2012, problem number 14. Okay, let's first talk about the first concept. You have a circle and suppose O is the center of the circle and BC are two points in the circumference. So you are you have to look at the arc BC and we say that the angle subtended by the arc subtended this is a this word sometimes confuses students. It, may, it just means that the feet of the angle are at B and C. Remember, if you draw an angle, there will be two rays. When I say the arc BC is subtending some angle, it basically means that the feet of the angle are at B and C. Okay, so you join the angle subtended by this arc, this arc at the center so the tip of the angle is at the center is twice the angle subtended by the same arc at the circumference so this is suppose a so angle b a c is half of angle b o c this is the claim Okay, so if this is angle A, if this angle, let's call the value of it also A, then this is twice of A. Okay, so there is a proof of this and we discuss it in the geometry module of the Math Olympiad program and ISI CMI entrance program at Chinta. If you know how to prove this, you can also put a comment in the description uh, with your own proof and I can check if that's right. Okay, so maybe. If you don't know how to prove this, then try it. I'll give you a, a hint. There is a construction. You just join A, O and extend it to some point X. That becomes very useful at some time. Okay? Uh, this is one way to do this. Of course, there are other ways. Suppose we have a triangle ABC again and we have the angle bisectors of angle B, angle A and angle C and they all meet at the in center. So this is a, again a theorem that angle bisectors 
angle bisectors meet at one point okay inside the triangle and that point is known as the in center of the triangle i have a question for you do you think that the angle bisectors of any quadrilateral also meet at a single point inside the quadrilateral is there something called an in center of a quadrilateral if you think yes or no give reasons to your answer and put a comment in the description okay all right so <clears throat> now let's look at this so we want to know the value of this angle right here now this one is quite simple this is this angle is b over 2 because this total angle is b so half of it is b over 2 now this angle right here is c over 2 so the white angle the white angle the white angle is 180 degree minus b over 2 minus c over 2 okay there is another way to write this and that is based on the observation that a over 2 plus b over 2 plus c over 2 is 90 degree right because a plus b plus c the three angles some of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree if you divide by 2 then it is 90 degree so what we are going to do is we are going to use that observation we are going to add a, a over 2 and subtract an a over 2 from this expression then the value remains same because we are adding and subtracting the same quantity now this portion is simply negative 90 degree because that's a over 2 plus b over 2 plus c over 2 if you take the negative sign common so we have 90 degree plus a over 2 because this is 180 minus 90 that is 90 plus a over 2 this is a very important result and we are going to use it 90 degree plus a over 2 and you can similarly find the value of angle cia and angle bia why don't you put the values of angle cia and bia in the comment and i'll check if it's right okay so that's 90 plus a by 2 here very good so we have the two concepts at our disposal now let's use these two concepts to solve a problem from prmo so that we understand whether we are really understanding the concept or not so the problem is like this that we have a triangle abc and we have the circumcenter o of the triangle which is basically the center of the circumcircle like this circumcenter o of the triangle and we have the in center i of the triangle the in center i and it is given it is given that b i o c lie on a circle so you can draw a circle like this through b i o c if i complete it you look like this the question is what is angle a what is angle a okay so the first thing is that angle b o c and you can try this by pausing the video angle b o c is twice of angle a right we are using the first concept here that the angle at the center you have to you have to focus on this circle the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference so this is twice of angle a and we also know that angle b i c this is 90 plus a by 2 
right? So angle BOC, angle BOC is twice of angle A and angle BIC is 90 plus angle A, plus A by 2. This is concept 1 and this is concept 2. We are using these two concepts. Then, what is the value of angle A? So, I will give you one more hint. You have to now focus on this circle. This circle. Notice that BIC and BOC are both subtended at the circumference by the large arc BC. Right? This large arc BC subtends these two angles in the circumference of this, this circle. So, angles subtended by the same arc at the circumference are equal. So, you can say this twice of angle A, that is angle BOC, and 90 plus A by 2, these two are equal. So, twice of angle A is equal to 90 plus angle A by 2. Can you find the value of angle A from this reduction? It's just one step away. So give it a try. Find the value of angle A from that equation. And we will meet in the next video with some more exciting mathematics. Stay well. Bye.